Hello, welcome to Nigel Tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this tutorial, we're going to is a follow-on from the previous tutorial in the camera intent tutorial series. In the last tutorial, we learned how to add a, a button view to a layout and use that in our activity. Now we're actually going to be doing something with that button. Once you press the button, we're going to then call a camera application to take a picture for us. So let's get into that now. Okay, so here's the function that we used in the previous tutorial, take photo. Uh, before we just displayed the text, now we actually want to call a camera application. So I can delete, whoop, delete this and change it. First thing I'm going to do is create, I want to send a message to another application to take the photo for us. To send messages, I do that in the form of what we call an intent. And so I'm going to call it take. Uh, maybe be a bit more detailed here. Um, call camera application intent and we're just going to create a new intent here new intent object okay so we've got basically a message handler um, object that we've created now we want to put the message itself in there and to do that I'm going to set an action let me show you what I mean. Inside the media store, I'm going to use a media store um, action that we can pass to our tent. And the one I want to use is called the action image capture here. So if I select that, and it says it's a standard intent action that can be sent to the camera application to capture an image and return it. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to use this action and get, um, supply it to the intent by just calling our intent and set action and then what we saw there was the media store action cabbage action image capture Any comment on that? So basically, I've now got an intent that will pass a message to an application that responds to media store action action image captures. Basically, we're telling a app, uh, camera application to take a photo for us. Okay, so the next thing now, I need to just start another activity with this message to take the picture for us do that we call this function here start activity for results and so basically start activity not only starts another activity which can be a camera application once that activity started done its job and completed it will then return to our activity which is what we want we want to go back to our activity probably so we can view the image itself. So that's why I'm going to call start activity for result. I'm going to pass it the intent that we created, call camera intent. And the next thing here, I need to pass the request code. I want to pass the request code. That request code, we could be calling any number of activities in our application. And once the, um, other applications respond back to us we want to know who it was that responded back to us we want to know the origin of our call and to do that we put and we make a request code for ourselves so I'm just going to um, define one at the top of my class 
That's just going to be a strain. String, and I'm just going to call it Activity Start Camera App. And sign a value. This is a string. Uh, that's going to be it. My apologies, this is going to be a number. It's got to be an int number. So let's change that from string to an int. Okay, so you have to pass it a, an int value here. So start camera app and that's it for sending a message a request to another application to take the photo for us the next step is once that application is completed we want it to come back to this application our application so we can view the results of what the camera app did to do that we need to set up another function so once the application the camera activities completed what it's done we capture the we capture what's happened back in this function here which is on activity result here so I'm just gonna call this function here I might just copy and paste this for speed go back into our source code paste that in there so what we want to do first of all we could have made a number of requests as to a number of different applications. We have to filter that to the request we knew that we made, and that was the activity start camera. So let's do a check for that. So if request code, equals activity start camera app. And we also want to do another request. We want to see that when we made a request to the application and it came back, we want to see that it was actually successful. So we need to check for that as well. And we do it like this. So if result code is the same as result OK. So doing the two checks, one for our request that we knew that we made to the application, another one was it okay and then I'm just going to set up another little toast message here just to prove that we took a picture the picture came through okay and it was successful so I will just do that with a toast Make text I'll just say picture taken and time duration make sure you put the show function on the end to actually display that okay um, that's all I want to do, just prove that we can call the our camera application, the camera will successfully take the picture and return it back to us, that's all I want to do for this. Right, so let's run this code, run, run the application on, on my Nexus 4. And let me capture what's on the mobile device, so start recording. So I've got my camera application here, so let's press take photo. Uh, I'm just going to use the default camera application here. I did have other applications that would respond to the camera request as well. I just want to use the default Android one. Here it is here. Let's take a, cup, a photo of a cup of green tea. And yes, like that. 
and as you can see picture was taken successfully so in other words once the camera application had completed it went back to my application inside that function and uh, successfully called that uh, image so let me save the screen recording Okay, the next step I want to make is to actually step through the code. I'll use the debug app provided to me by Android Studio for that, just so we can highlight exactly what the changes we made and just how they affect the application. So I'm going to add a breakpoint here, just where we create our intent object. And then once the camera completes running, I'm going to add another breakpoint, just the beginning of this function on it to achieve a result just to see what happened once the camera completed and it returned back into our application's activity. Okay, so now I click on debug. I have my camera running again. I'm going to take a photo again, so click the take photo button. Okay, I've now stopped at the debug. So nothing else is going to happen until I step through this code. So again, we created our, our intent object. Step through the, down into the next line. Next thing is we assign a action for that, which is to capture an image. And then we start the activity with the message, please, any application, please take a photo for me. And once you've finished, please return back to my application activity okay so i just press go on that now i'm ready to take my photo i'll select my camera application i've got more than one application here for camera that's listed to camera but i just want the default uh, nexus 4 camera application which is a lollipop one now i can take the photo accept that so i've actually returned back to my application now and if I go down to here, I can see the request code was zero. So that's the request I've set up here. And it says that the result OK is minus one. So result OK is actually given the flag value of minus one. So minus one means yes, uh, the result was successful. So if I Go down into there. Yes, it's going to call the toast. And if I run that, I've got the uh, text description from the toast appearing on the screen. So that's it for this segment of the camera intent tutorial. What we learned, we took a big step up from the previous tutorial where now we create intents to send messages to other applications, message requests to other applications. In this case, capture an image. We sent that request. I selected the default uh, Lollipop camera application. We took the photo. And because we selected a start activity for result request, once the camera application had completed, it returned us back into our activity, our application activity. From there, we just displayed some text just to say everything was successful. So we've learnt about activities, sending messages to activities by using intent, and we've learnt how we can um, actually capture um, what happens after an application recalled has returned back to us. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, we've still got several more before we complete the final application. Please subscribe and carry watching these and provide, I'm very interested in any feedback or comments you've got to have about this tutorial and these tutorial series. That's all from me. Bye for now. Applications running here. So let's select take photo. This one's my setup here. Just waiting for the camera application to start up. Okay, I'm just going to take a photo of the green cup. Set that. 
And there it is there. The camera applications return back to our um, activity, application activity. And the bitmap data that we've supplied from it is gone into the image view showing up here just like this. I'm not too sure if this photo is in focus or not, that could either be the camera or the limited data we have from the thumbnail bitmap returned by the camera application.